Today's video is kindly sponsored by Simply Safe. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you're not bored of this intro location because it seems to be where I'm starting every single video. But you know what? We're also gonna need to get used to it because this is the new house. We are starting out with a little bit of painting. I have been dying to paint this room. I actually love painting myself. I just love putting on some music and painting and FaceTiming people like I enjoy painting. And so I've been really excited to paint some of the spaces in here because they are all painted this like very, very pale, dusty yellow color, uh, which kind of does lean a little French, but I definitely want to take this more Spanish vibes. And so I have a couple of paint swatches actually over here already. Now I swatched these in a past video. This one here is the one I'm loving the most. It is Simply White by Benjamin Moore. Then we have Oxford White and then we have either White Dove or Dove Wing. I don't remember which one, but I'll put the proper name on the screen for you guys. But I really, really do love the Simply White at the top. I'm looking for something quite creamy so it doesn't have like a stark white look. So I'm gonna be painting the walls. We have to remove some curtains as well. So yes, I guess the first step is gonna be removing the curtains and also the little like uh, raffia or what's that material? What is that, like straw? Hay? It looks kind of like hay. We're gonna be removing the hay blinds. And this is not me throwing shade at bamboo shades, but these ones really have like a thick, coarse, hay-like texture, you guys. They're unlike any bamboo shades I've seen. They're just really giving hay bale. salvaging all of the curtain rods of course because those are in great condition and I'm also going to be keeping all the curtain panels because I might be able to use this fabric in the future or I'll keep them for at least a little bit of time and then I definitely am going to keep all the curtain rings which are actually sewn onto each panel but they're really high quality. I am just using a regular roller, uh, nothing fancy here. I've been painting for a couple hours now. I basically have like a full coat on this wall here. So you can kind of see a difference in color from this wall to this wall. And something I will say is in person, it looks much more yellow than it does on camera. Right now it looks like a pretty kind of like creamy vanilla shade, but I swear it is not. But I think I'm gonna change my mind. That's nothing new at all. I'm actually kind of wanting to do a lime wash in here. Like after putting the white on the wall, like the white isn't doing it for me. Like the white isn't exactly what I want. I feel like I could add a little bit more texture with like a really faint lime wash. And when I say lime wash, I'm talking about a super subtle texture on the wall. So something just a little darker than the current white color. The white just seems so stark with the dark ceiling and dark floors. We definitely need something a bit darker than a white. And so I'm thinking just like a more neutral, soft lime wash would be beautiful. So I think you guys, I might do that. And I also know that the Simply Safe just arrived. So I definitely want to go set that up as well. So let's set that up first and then I'll look at some lime wash options. I was so excited to see the Simply Safe arriving on the doorstep today, you guys, because after Dr. Lori went ahead and appraised all my light fixtures, I was like, we are getting a security system in here immediately. And Simply Safe, I've had it for two years at my apartment. You guys know I absolutely love it. I am completely obsessed with mine. It really is the most modern, design friendly, user friendly home security system that is so easy to set up. Like, I got mine shipped to me in a box, all the components that you need. They have different types of uh, packages that you can get or you can add and create 
create your very own package. So I got everything I needed for my home. And this is me setting up the pin pad here. I already went ahead and set up the base station previously. And those are your two main components. And then they have so many different sensors for every door and window. They have smoke detectors. They have HD cameras for inside, for the outside. And that's really just to name a few. So this is me installing the front door sensor. And you just apply that to the door with the kind of self-adhesive on the back, which is perfect if you're in a rental. But they also have screws. So if you want to make it more permanent, they also have the HD camera, which I'm putting, of course, in a couple different locations throughout my home. And setting up this entire system took me less than an hour to set up every single camera, entry sensor, absolutely everything. This window here in the front, I wanted to make sure to have a glass break sensor. So if anyone's trying to break the glass at my house, like just know an alarm will go off and you will be found and Simply Safe will be catching you. Or more so, their 24 7 protection is going to make sure that you're safe and they're going to dispatch police, firefighters, or EMT in case of an emergency. So if you'd like 20% off your home security system from Simply Safe, just head to simplysafe.com slash lonefox and sign up for their interactive monitoring plan and you're going to get 20% off plus your first month free. Marie and we are heading into Portola Paints because they actually have a location in North Hollywood and I want to check out some lime wash colors because lastly you guys saw I was painting living room white which is a beautiful shade of white but I just feel like the walls could have more impact like I just feel like there can be a slight subtle texture and I just want to see what options they have. If you were to layer, no, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to see. a color that I love. It is this one here. Uh, it's called Eastwood. As you can see, this is compared to just a white wall swatch. So this is probably similar to what I have on the wall currently. This is the Eastwood color, which has a slight tan, like topiness to it, but it has that texture and movement. The current look, you can't really see the plaster with the white color I'm using. Are you kidding me with the sunburn right now? I can't even look at myself. Like guys, I can't look at myself. Like <laughs> I left with some samples, which we can test on the wall tomorrow morning. So I will catch you guys when we test these. Okay, so this is what I did to the That's kitchen. Beautiful. <laughs> It's what finished. A, what a clean job. I know, thank you. Oh, didn't you see the video? Yeah, where like the wall was just crumbling away when yes. I was pulling it? Like I was trying my best. It's like, another way. I mean, yeah. look, they glue it to the drywall, to the uh, plaster. Yeah. Yeah, this one was stronger. So you can it's tell easier. it's way stronger. It's easier. Yeah, it's easier to peel. Uh -huh. See, because the it water just box, off. just pop. Okay. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna, every single thing that had tile removed from will have tile, tile going over the top of it. Okay, so this is gonna stay. Yes. You can tile over it. Mm -hmm. so Whatever the, you think is best. But the upper, Oh, not upper, no uppers. No uppers. I want to make another arch. Where? Here. <laughs> okay. Very narrow, like, you know what I mean? It's going to be like, I mean, sorry. It could still go up to the right at the top of here, yeah? Yeah, from the top. Yeah. And we just like- Yeah, let's get to the jab. The arch here. Yeah. yeah, pull this out. This is gone. Uh-huh, and then this we can do gone. the arch we there. Go get a fix. Okay. Okay, Sounds all good. throughout. Yes. I'm going to remove this hardy, old hardy baker and get okay. the new one. Uh, any trim, special trim around the windows? No, just finish it to it. Uh, yeah, it. just up to it. Yeah, that would be great. A new arch here. Yep. Uh, what do people normally do? Just continue it. Continue it? Is that you possible? have two options. One option is just a reducer or like a, just one species, second one. Let's leave this. Okay. Because when I tile, I'll do a decorative border here. So I'll tile you, and a decorative border. I'd rather you, have that than the wood. Okay, you tile it. You have to continue with the hardy baker, that's going to be higher than this. Got it, so it needs this little layer underneath. Correct. Right. Yeah. That's amazing, I love this. Isn't this so good? This is from a 1920s Long Beach Gothic Revival house. Wow. Yeah. I love it. So it's authentic. That's handmade, look. We good? Yep, all good. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning from Larchmont. I love this area. Heading over to a little magazine stand. I'm with Mandy, which you guys haven't really met Mandy. She's actually been working with Lone Fox for like a year and she helps with editing videos. So we both basically edit the videos that you guys watch. Um, and she also helps me film TikToks and film lots of things. This is Mandy. Hi. <gasps> She's a chic, pretty model. She's so pretty. Um, anyways, we are gonna be filming a TikTok over 
because I'm in a magazine. I'm in a literal magazine. Which one is it, Nana? This one. It's a cottage style magazine, and I'm in this magazine. I'll share it with you guys in just a second, but I'm going to quickly see if it's okay if we film a TikTok here because this is a magazine stand. So if you go out and get this, of course, it is the cottage style magazine from Better Homes and Gardens, and I actually shot this with them last year. So we shot this last November. So I haven't seen these photos in so long. Like some of my apartment, of course, has changed a little bit, but oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Look at this beautiful photo. Remember the lemon wallpaper? I actually love the way that the kitchen looks in this photo. It's like super clean and fresh. She added this little like runner here. Then there's a photo of me and we have the other side of the kitchen. This is a living room. And then remember this Ikea piece that I created in the entryway, the living room is over here. And then our last page, it was like a four page spread. So completely honored to be in this magazine. Like this is my first ever magazine guys. So if you do pick it up, totally tag me over on Instagram. This is really exciting. <laughs> And then, yesterday you guys saw me go to Portola and I picked up some brushes this morning, but these are a couple of the paint samples that I got from them yesterday. So I decided that I wanted to swatch a few. Now I already know that this Kingdom color is just gonna be too dark. It was darker than both of these two shades, kind of like an in-between of these two, but darker. So I'm not gonna actually swatch this one, but I am happy to have the sample. And Eastwood and then Feather are the two that I'm mainly looking at. As you can see, Feather is more of a grayish cool tone. Eastwood is a little bit more warmer, so we're gonna try both these lime washes out on the wall. I'm also not using the proper brush here. This is just to get an idea of the color and what it looks like on the wall. So I totally forgot to film a clip of what these colors looked like dry because I wanted to head back as they seemed too dark on the first glance. So I headed back to Portola to get a couple of lighter colors before they closed. I'm, I'm back from Portola and I actually found out that they offer some of their colors in 50, well actually all of their colors in 50%. So I picked up 50% of Eastwood and I also got this sample here which is Solaris, it's their white shade. And one of the guys there let me know that I could mix this with equal parts of my Kingdom sample to get like a 50% Kingdom. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch 50% of Eastwood and then we're gonna make our own 50% swatch of Kingdom and swatch those on the wall. lime wash process is to apply their primer which is the lime proof undercoat and that's just applied with a roller so that actually goes on pretty quick. So we have a coat of the primer on the wall and this is what the room would look like with white and guys I don't know if you can tell but it is just so harsh like I really do feel like the contrast is just way too harsh it's not what I was picturing um and so Marie's on the way back she actually went to go pick up some cans of paint from Portola I opted for Eastwood at 75% which we're gonna have to see how that looks I have tested the 50% on this wall and the 100% on this wall I like the lightness but I liked the texture from the other so I decided to go at 75% and that is what we are going to test out on these walls so I have the lime um base coat down and then we're gonna do the brushing which thankfully I saved the old brush from Marie's room because these are quite expensive um, and I'm gonna reuse this to brush the color on the walls. Marie has joined us. Painting party. The painting party. And guys we are about to put the first little brush of Eastwood at 75% on the walls and see what that looks like so wish me luck. Oh, oh she's giving. She's giving. She's giving what needed to be given. She's pretty. <laughs> Does that look really good application? Yeah. Gravel okay. road, I've been asked to slow down. Fireplace, do you know how? Pass the paper, my desk is out. For 
Yes. Well, I haven't shared with you guys how to use lime wash in a while. I've only ever done it actually in Marie's room, but it was really popular. And the lime wash is actually really runny. So you're gonna use a larger brush like this, like a six inch brush. The larger the brush, the larger your texture is gonna be. And you're just basically swiping it on the wall in different directions, just kind of overlapping to create texture. And the bristles on the brush are really thick. I think this is like a boar's hair brush or something. And basically what that does is it just makes a lot of texture on your walls and then it dries down a lot more opaque. And then we're gonna do a second coat over the top that's gonna fill in any gaps and give us even more texture. And the process from here is pretty repetitive. So your first coat of lime wash is always gonna go on the easiest. You're gonna see that you're barely gonna use any product and it's gonna spread pretty far every dip that you dip the brush in. But then when you go back with your second coat, because the first coat kind of creates this almost sandy, like dry finish on the wall, it really sucks it in. So here I'm going in with the second coat here and you really can't move the paint around as much. You can see how much I'm dipping back into the can, but this is where you really can start seeing some of that texture, that really bold texture show through and then also you can layer up the color as you desire for the finish that you want to go for. Guys, I'm really, really liking the way this is looking, but as it's drying, it's getting so much lighter. I can't tell if I like it or not because I'm liking the textury look not as textured as it is it's pretty crazy right now but i don't know i really i think i'm just gonna have to paint the entire wall sleep on it and then let's check in the morning I've also had a ton of questions as to where I got this rug. I actually got this at the flea market probably about two months ago and I wasn't filming. I just went with a couple of friends and this was the rug that the guy had in his booth that all the other rugs were on top of. But I saw this border and I was like, that border is so pretty. So I ended up asking him if the one underneath was for sale and he sold me this humongous area rug. It has to be like 15, 16 feet long by like 10 feet deep deep. I think he sold it to me for $6.50, which was such a great deal. It is hand knotted, like beautiful. And you can even use this side if you want like more of a um, textural kind of woven look. And then this side's the actual kind of carpet. I just loved the black border on this and I had never seen one in this colorway. I thought it was really moody for this living room. Marie and I came over to the house this morning to see the lime wash wall, and we thought we'd film our reactions of actually seeing it. So let's I'm get scared. prepared. Should we, like, close our eyes. Yeah. Okay. Let's walk into the room. Don't open your eyes. Hold on. Wait. I'm looking at the ground. Oh, we can look at the ground. Okay. I don't even know if we're in the frame yet. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Um, There's not one ounce of texture. <laughs> not one. It's a real. I really like the color though with the beams. Oh uh, guys, there's zero texture. What did I do wrong? Well, the hundred percent sample is so much darker. I don't know if they gave me the wrong color. This doesn't look like the Eastwood's color. <laughs> Marie. Wait. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> Guys, I didn't even realize this yesterday. The color was supposed to be 75%. This is 75% lighter. So this is only 25% of the color. I wanted 75% of the color. That's why there's no texture and almost no color. Well guys, this video is going up today. It's Thursday morning. The day you're seeing this, it is Thursday morning. I'm gonna add this clip into the video. But this is where we're at, the <laughs> living room. I think it's gonna look more so, kind of like the mica shade right there. Like not as dark, more of like a lighter version of that on the wall. Cause that's almost like a lime wash look. Who's mica? Mica shade. On the wall? On a lamp. Oh. <laughs> Who's mica? <laughs> And lastly, guys, before heading out, if you're interested in checking out Simply Safe, do not forget to do so. We love ours. Love Simply Safe. We've had our Simply Safe for like two years. Um, Obsessed. And it's so, so great, guys. So I highly recommend them. I will put the link in the description box below. So take advantage of that discount. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.